what's up aquarius it's your girl the flight empress and i am back to give you guys the energy update my neck is so sore y'all i had a rough day at work yesterday um but yeah this reading is going to be all about you family you could be feeling very tense right now or just kind of stressed or you could feel heavy i'm getting like a heavy energy could be on you at this time um but anyway, before we start the reading, I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice. I already pulled a spread, so let us go ahead and begin. But yeah, I'm hearing something about tension, stress. There could be a lot of people that's bringing a lot of intense energy towards you. Uh, be careful about embodying that energy because this could be causing some type of setback in your life right now. Spirit, show me what I need to see. I feel like something here has been imbalanced. There could be a lot of people who is imbalanced that's trying to come towards you or you are looking at how certain people have not been fair when it comes to you. Like you, for some of you guys, I'm hearing you're a giver or you're always there in a time of needs, very supportive, very helpful, uh, but you haven't been receiving that same energy. Um, it's kind of, it's showing me like, it's just say for instance, you do stay at a distance from certain people that you care about. Like I said, this definitely could be family. Um, but when you do come around, you make sure you go visit them or, you know, you take time out to call them and let them know you're in town. You know, you spend time with them. You can spend money on them. Um, but it's like these people don't come and see you or they don't reach out to you to see how you doing. Something like that, uh, family, I feel like this this is something you're going to be addressing this month. You could also be working on your boundaries as well. If you have been going through some type of injustice, and maybe you wasn't aware of whatever this injustice is, I feel like there's clarity that's going to be coming in about it. I don't know, something about straining yourself. I've also been picking up like fight or flight energy. But I feel like you're feeling other energies. Divine Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Aquarius for the month of November. So we got Aquarius here in a reverse. So we got Aquarius energy coming out, okay? This is you, family. Um, Something right now in your life is not balanced, okay? Because of how this came out. And I feel like for the month of November, you're really going to be taking a look at this, okay? Yeah, something is being exposed to you. We got Jupiter energy here. Okay, something that's going to be exposed to you that's been causing some type of imbalance here. I really feel like it's people, but for some of you guys, this could be certain things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis that's also causing some type of imbalance. This could be people in the workplace that's causing imbalance or people who live with you or I'm kind of getting like everything being on your back, Aquarius, as well. Yeah, you're being illuminated to the truth. We also got 12 coming up. There's a need for you to slow down. I feel like God is trying to show you something, but you won't sit still long enough to see it. Okay, you won't sit still long enough to see it. There's a need for you to be in a quiet or to be in silence or take time out for yourself. But it's like you haven't been able to do it. Maybe you have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of duties. Um, there's a lot that you have to take care of. And it's giving me like, let me do this. Let me do that. I need to do this. I need to go here. Blah, blah, blah. 
but you're needing to like really quiet your mind, quiet your spirit so you can receive some clear messages here because something is harder than what it should be. Yeah. I'm hearing slow down. Okay, Aquarius. The cards that came out for your overall energy was Jupiter and Gemini in a reverse. So, like I said, Jupiter came out with the ruin here. Okay. Jupiter came out here with this ruin. And we got Jupiter here. Okay. Now, Jupiter typically talks about good fortune, expansion, success, wealth, higher learning, abstract mind, travel, growth achievement thinking you could be focusing on all of this but i feel like right now this is saying something is being expanded or something is being brought to your attention that you need to see and i feel like it's regarding some two-faced people okay that's been in your energy and i'm hearing they've been causing delays or these are people who are imbalanced themselves and they could be around you for some of you for some of you guys <clears throat> they could be living with you and this is something that you're needing to rectify or you're needing to correct okay i'm hearing everybody play their part so like just say for instance you got a roommate you're a neat freak or you st you're a clean person this could be somebody who's very sloppy you could be having to pick up after this person they don't want to help you out with the bills um this is somebody who could um just be in their own <clears throat> world or bubble but I'm, I'm picking up like this is causing a strain on you, okay? Or this could be somebody who's always asking you for help, but this person is always placing themselves in situations where um, it's drama, okay? Or it's problems. You could be picking up on this energy. I'm really just getting like you guys observing people who are imbalanced are not healthy for you, okay? You can have a lot of manipulators around you. Okay, this is like people making bad decisions. Um, this could be people who's very impulsive or childish. Um, something here needs to be cleared up. Or I'm hearing you're needing to set firm boundaries, firm rules. For some of you guys, this is regarding your own life. Um, you could be observing, like, if you've been very scattered or you just been moving, 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 moving. It's like spirit is trying to show you you need to slow down, okay? Because this is causing like some type of imbalance when it comes to your mental health, okay? Your physical health, your spiritual health, your emotional health. I feel like you're trying to do so much at one time, okay? something about lacking direction it's like you could be looking for a clear direction but you're unable to see what this clear direction is as long as you stay in this type of energy yeah i'm hearing cleaning up house something here you're rearranging or cleaning up or getting organized getting straight you could be organizing your mind as well i feel like for the month of november you will be more organized okay the more you address this energy here yeah family you there's also um like i said you could offer some type of service or you could be in a service you could be connected to somebody in service or there could be people who feel like you should always service them or be there for them when they need you. Okay, you could look at this as like a badge of honor that they came to you for a problem or a solution. But spirit is saying, don't be denial. Okay, there could be people that's playing on your empathy, your kindness. They could be taking your kindness for weakness. For some of you guys, I feel like there could be something also that you're doing, but you don't really love doing this. Okay, this could be some type of career. Um, it could offer financial stability, but I'm hearing your heart is not in it anymore. 
you could be searching or looking for something new to do or to um, spend your time on, but it's like you don't know what that thing is yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Aquarius. What do they need to know? What's going on in their mental space for the month of November? For the Aquarius, what's going on in the mental space for the Aquarius? Okay, we got the Three of Cups here. Be aware of distractions or like, I don't know. People always, I'm hearing like friends or family members that want you to go out or uh, could be wanting for you to take trips or to do this or do that. Um, I'm kind of getting like a distraction here. Yeah. You can have like a lot of people that's wanting to come towards you for some type of healing. All right. But you need to be very cautious of this. Okay. This could be people who's hiding things from you. Are keeping secrets from you like i said scorpio is all about like secrets things that's hidden um but i'm i'm i'm, I'm picking up like truth gonna be coming out what's going on in the mental space spirit okay we got the king of cups uh for some of my men out there you could have a lot of options here and you're trying to figure out what's the best option for you What's the best option for you to travel toward? Like there could be a lot of people that's wanting to spend time with you. Um, but I really feel like there's a need for you guys to like really take time out for yourself right now. Okay. I, I keep picking up on something regarding these people. Energy. <clears throat> yeah just be aware of that because with the nine of swords it's giving me like not being able to sleep at night you don't know why you don't know what's going on it's somebody that's around you or connected to you or somebody that um you like to celebrate your successes with or your achievements with something is going on with this person's energy i'm i'm here in darkness there could be a lot of darkness around them and like like I said, this could be a sister, a brother, a cousin, a mother, a father, whatever. Okay. There could be a need for you to keep your distance. <clears throat> I'm hearing a shark. Okay. I feel like Aquarius, you're ready to enjoy your life. And you feel like you haven't been able to do this. Okay. And this could be regarding... This could be because of some type of career or something that you do. You could work a lot. Okay. But it's like you're ready to enjoy life or have fun. I'm hearing a clear path. Spirit, what's the advice here? Something about a clear path. We got the three of swords here in reverse. So there's something here you're needing to release, okay? Some type of pain, hurt. Um, this could also be depression. Okay, um, something about healing your heart or releasing some type of heavy energy from your heart. I'm also getting childhood trauma. For some of you guys, you could be workaholic. You work a lot. But it's like now that you're getting older, you're ready to enjoy life. But it's certain things about your past that make you feel like you need to be the best or you have to grind nonstop, okay, in order to have success or to be successful. There could have been people who made you feel inferior to them in the past. I'm picking up heavy family. This is something you guys are going to be healing from, okay? Have you been having like heart palpitations or things going on with your heart or blood pressure issues? Um, 
you're not having this for no reason. Some of you guys, it is medical and you do need to go and seek out a doctor. But for others of you, this is a sign from spirit that's telling you that there's something on your heart that you need to let go of. Okay. Because it's keeping you from being happy. Spirit, what's going on when the, okay, emotions, we got the ace of wands. Something could be changing about your emotions or your emotional approach to things. I feel like you guys, you could be looking at taking a different path here than what you used to do in the past, especially when it comes to like people that you date or deal with. There's something you're seeing here that got to change. We got the devil. Be careful of letting your emotions leading you astray. Like I said, there could be a lot of people that you want to help or you want to give love to, but there could be a need for you to distance yourself from whoever this is this could be a capricorn for some of you guys whoever this is i feel like there's some type of entity attached to this person or this is somebody who's engaging with other people who have entities attached to them it's attaching to this person and also attaching to you the more you feed into this energy or <sighs> i'm here and waste your time something here is wasting your time and you could feel the need to like move away from it. Yeah, two of wands. Yeah, you're going into a different direction, okay? Than this person or these people here. You're going, you're wanting to go toward what makes you happy. And it's like you're not able to do this as long as they are attached to you. We got the Queen of uh, Cups in the reverse, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, there's somebody who's trying to play on your emotions or hook you, okay? Kind of get you to do what they want you to do. I'm hearing emotionally disturbed. Whoever this person is, they are emotionally disturbed. Okay, and you need to watch out for this person. I feel like every time you go around them, they drain your energy. They siphon your energy. And it's replaced with like depression or anxiety, anxiousness, um, lack of motivation. Okay. Some of you guys are going to be addressing why you are emotionally depleted. Okay. Yeah. This is coming to an end. <clears throat> this is coming to an end. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. This is taking care of yourself, your health, what you love, your life. Okay. This is feeding into you. Okay. It's a need for you guys to disconnect for the month of November here. There's a lot of karmas, uh, karmics out here that's receiving karma. And spirit is wanting for you not to attach yourself to a situation. Somebody also look at you as money is what I'm hearing. Okay. What's going on physically, divine Holy Spirit? Ten of swords. Something is ending in your life. Okay. Something you're putting a stop to. Um, for some of you guys look it's like people want to rush towards you and tell you this tell you that ask you for this ask you for that and you saying hell no okay we got the nine of swords like i said every time these people come around or talk to you you can get in this energy right here where you feel very flighty or stuck or you feel like things aren't physically moving for you Something is about to change. I'm also seeing like an old way of thinking is also being removed. Something about you guys shifting your perspective as well. I feel like it's going to change things for you on a physical level. <clears throat> things you used to do 
or used to say, or like I said, how you used to think something is changing. And by this changing, you're going to start seeing physical changes in your life. Okay, yeah, putting up firm boundaries. This could definitely be regarding the home or the way you run your home, the way you manage your home, okay, being the head of the house. Okay, I'm here and putting your foot down, okay? You're going to be putting your foot down here because you see that as long as you stay in the energy that you're in, things are not going to move. I also see a lot of people that's wanting to come towards you to cause problems here. But like I said, you're putting an end to this. Okay. I'm also hearing he say, she say, they say, you say, you know, it's like, I feel like you're going to be standing your ground here, Aquarius. Yeah, you could be looking at different options at this time. You could be reading more books or gaining knowledge about certain things. I feel like a lot of changes is about to take place. Okay. You guys, you could be decorating or like, I'm here and setting the rules with your family. So just say for instance, say for instance, you are married or you are in a relationship and you share children with this person you could be asking somebody that, uh, to carry their weight or you know you need a little bit more structure um they need to do this and you're gonna do that or like setting rules with your kids like when you come in from school i don't want you to turn on the tv you can grab you a little snack and then i want you to do your homework after that i want you to i don't know take out the trash wash the dishes and I want this all to be done by the time I get home, okay? Uh, I'm seeing you guys um, really observing your life and the things that it has to change, okay? Yeah, eight of wands, putting in a lot of work, taking a lot of action here. I feel like a lot of things is going to be changing physically around you. Okay, there's a lot of messages coming in and you are about to rebuild your life from the ground up. Okay, this is everybody doing their part. You doing your part. I'm seeing you guys. Um creating and maintaining a healthy lifestyle okay i feel like this is going to bring in different opportunities for you as well what's going on here spirit on a spiritual level eight of cups god is wanting for you to address okay the things that you don't want you don't want to see anymore or things that need to be removed uh, for some of you guys, like I said, you're realizing that the very people that you love could have been sending you um, negative energy, psychic attacks. Okay, I'm also hearing for some of you guys, you realize that something has been on your bloodline that got to be released or removed. Okay, this is some type of energy. You're also seeing the truth about other people. I feel like your spiritual gifts are definitely enhancing. I'm hearing using your discernment. Some your discernment is about to become a lot stronger. Um, for some of you guys, you could be astro traveling for the month of November, but I'm also seeing like daydreaming. Okay, or there could be messages that's going to be coming to you while you awake. I'm hearing flashes. Um, there's going to be a need for you guys to drink plenty of water as well. Because God is um, sending a lot of energy your way. A lot of messages through energy. And you're needing to be hydrated in order to receive these energies. Or to receive these messages. To make your antenna stronger. <laughs> okay, we got the lovers in reverse. 
there's something here that you're no longer aligned with okay when it comes to your spiritual self I'm hearing a new perspective. You're seeing something here very clearly. For some of you guys, you're realizing that you may have not been spiritually aligned in the past. And you're looking at this. Like, I'm hearing discipline when it comes to your spirituality. So, if you're... um just going about life and you're not really um seeking guidance or advice from the most high or aligning yourself um to source it's like you can get off track or get distracted or go down the wrong path or choose the wrong direction i feel like you're looking at this but some of you guys um your spiritual gifts haven't been coming in the way you want it to because you're not balanced when it comes to your feminine and masculine energy. You could be mostly masculine or you could be mostly feminine, but you need both in order to manifest or grow or to ascend to the next level of your spiritual journey. I'm also hearing somebody wanted you to do what they wanted you to do. Maybe you come from a religious background, but you're curious about spirituality. You could be tapping into that, but somebody is trying to prevent you from doing that. Or, but some of you guys, you're not telling people that you are exploring um, spirituality here. But I feel like it's unlocking or it's showing you certain things that you really need to know or you didn't know. This is going to cause some type of abundance here or something is going to be coming towards you or coming back to you. I'm also hearing like old memories. I feel like also family, um, this month spirit is going to be aligning you with your higher self. Okay, something about separation or you could have been separate from your higher self or it's been hard for you to receive clear answers. Okay, because you've been so busy or you've been in your head. But it's like when you relax, you let go and let God. I'm picking up like your higher self coming in and helping you. Okay, or helping you to fight some type of spiritual battle here. Spirit. Yeah, because it's hard. I'm hearing, I try so hard. Is that by Akon? Can't seem to get away from misery. Yeah. For some of you guys, I'm hearing that there could have been something here on your bloodline that you was recently, that was recently brought to your awareness or your attention. Yeah, but you, I'm hearing severed. Something here is going to be severed. Okay. Spirit, what is your advice for this? Divine Holy Spirit. Like I said, there's justice coming in for you. Okay. Wherever you've been getting some type of injustice or where, wherever injustice has been hitting you at in your life, something is about to be brought to balance. Like I said. Okay. This could be a lot of things that's been out of balance. Okay, I'm hearing relieved. Okay, something here I feel like you're about to be relieved from or it's going to be healing or it's not going to be as hard. You're not going to feel like you're carrying everything on your shoulders. Okay. Yeah, spirit. I'm hearing 11. Okay, something about this 1111 portal. Or November the 1st, okay? Because that's 111, November the 1st. Okay, these are going to be major dates for you. Okay, are you going to be coming out of this heavy energy between the new moon, the 1111 portal, and the full moon that's going to be coming up in Taurus on November the 15th? Okay, I'm hearing renew. Yeah, I'm hearing break away. <laughs> Somebody's name could be Kelly, okay? 
or Clarkston, but I'm hearing you're going to be getting out of your, um, getting out of some type of old mindset here that's been keeping you confined, stuck, or trapped, or like whatever situation this is. But some of you guys, you could be in court or somebody you love could be going to court. I feel like everything is going to be fine. Okay. Somebody could try to get you locked up or will be trying to get you locked up for the month of November. But I feel like everything is going to go in your favor. That's for the people that that applies to. Okay. It won't be for everybody. But yeah, this is a new beginning, a new start, a fresh start. Okay. Aquarius spirit is saying that there is a new beginning for you. Um, I'm hearing liberated. You're about to be liberated here from something that was constricting you or was causing restrictions in your life. <clears throat> I'm hearing parents. Okay, for some of you guys. Let's see what's going on when it comes to love. Okay. Uh, we got side piece here coming in in a reverse. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a side piece or there's somebody who's wanting to come back into your life and this person could have been dealing with multiple options, third parties. I feel like they're walking away here, okay? Or for some of you guys, you're walking away from somebody who was a side piece, okay? You're separating from somebody and you could be returning home. Or there's somebody who's wanting to come back to you, okay? Especially for those of you who was in a committed relationship and this person walked away to be with somebody else or you're still with this person, but you know deep down in your heart that this person could be dealing with other people. Uh, I feel like this person is going to be walking away or you're going to be walking away from this person because it also says three's a crowd, okay? Or if like there was somebody who was trying to interfere with your relationship, I'm picking up heavy family. I don't know why family been coming up for these readings, but it has. Um, it could be family you could be walking away from because they're causing problems in a marriage or a relationship. I'm hearing no more, okay? Or like if you was letting a job interfere with a connection here, something here is about to be released or let go of, okay? Because right now there's balance coming in. There's justice coming in. There could be some type of balance that's coming in regarding the connection or relationship. Um, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with somebody who um, has been indulging in unhealthy sexual behaviors. Okay. I feel like this person is realizing that this is not making them happy or they don't like doing this okay this is some type of addiction here spirit show me what i need to see for the aquarius and the person that's on their mind <clears throat> and the person that's on their mind regarding this yeah we got the page of swords here in a reverse so somebody could be very mad or angry or upset um about some type of news okay you could have found out some type of news about a significant other. Um, and you could be ready to walk away. Okay, to be honest with you, with the Six of Swords. You could be ready to walk away from this person because it's too much. It's imbalanced. It's not fair. It's not right. Okay, it's not an equal give and take. It's not no loyalty, no honesty, no truth. Okay, somebody could be dealing with other people and leaving you with all the chores or the responsibility or this is something you don't went through in the past i feel like for a lot of you guys you don't learn your lesson from some type of past relationship and by you learning this lesson spirit is bringing in some type of balance for you okay i feel like there's somebody who's wanting to commit to you as well okay this person could be obsessing over you or thinking about you a lot. I'm hearing ain't no sunshine uh, when she's gone. I'm also hearing the thrill is gone. 
So it, it's kind of giving me like um, somebody feel like they can't live without you or be without you. Like the people that they was engaging with, I'm hearing it was meaningless connections or meaningless sex. Okay, I feel like this person is realizing that you are a gem or like you're rare. You hold some type of quality about you that's different from the rest. But they feel like it might be too late. Okay, this person could be seeing you moving on with your life. And it's like they realize their life is really out of balance or it's too much stress, too much drama, too much to carry. Okay, trying to balance two connections or two relationships. Yeah, this person want to be with the Empress. And I feel like this is you. Yeah. But family, you feel like it's too much to be with this person. You feel like this is somebody who's weighing you down or cause you a lot of mental stress. Spirit, what's your advice here for the person that's on Aquarius' mind? What's your advice to Aquarius? Nine of Swords. Okay. You could feel like this person is going to keep you stressed out. Okay. Or this is somebody who's not capable of changing. This could be somebody that you live with, okay? Or it's like you fear repeating past issues, okay? You fear the past repeating itself when it comes to this person. You don't trust them. Ace of Cups, you don't trust them. Yeah, I don't feel like you want to go back. I really don't, okay? There could be somebody new. That's going to come into your life or um, this could be somebody you work with for some of you or there's somebody who's wanting to work with you. OK. I picked this up in Scorpio reading. Some of you guys are having trust issues that you're going to have to heal or you will be healing in November because there is a higher level connection that's coming in here with somebody that um, will help you grow. Okay, because this is giving me like a past person or past situations you've been going through regarding love. But this is something that's coming up in the future. Yeah, spirit, what's the advice? We got the world in the reverse. Okay, spirit is saying something here is not over. I feel like there's some type of healing that's needing to take place. Okay. If this person want to come back into your life and make things right or balance, they're going to have to put in a lot of work. But for a lot of you guys, I'm hearing that you don't want it. You don't want it. I just heard I'm on some new shit chunking up the deuces. Okay, somebody's name could be Chris or Brown or somebody could love the color brown. Somebody could be in the service here. But I'm hearing whoever this person is, they keep repeating the same cycle. This is somebody who come in and love bomb you and they turn around and do the same shit that they did before. Okay. Spirit, for my Aquarius that's single, what's coming in regarding love? For the Aquarius that's single, what's coming in regarding love? Oh. Uh, Yeah, this is manipulation, somebody playing mind games, somebody trying to figure out how to win you back. Or So I feel like there's an ex here that's going to try to come towards you. Or for some of you guys, you could be meeting somebody new, all right? But I feel like this person could be very manipulative. This could be somebody who's hiding their hand, literally hiding their hand. This person could be married, but they take their ring off. Uh, when they go out, something like that. This could be another Aquarius or this could be a Scorpio. We also got Capricorn energy here. But this is a very sneaky energy. Okay. You can have a couple of people that's wanting to come towards you. 
All right. I feel like right now you're going through a transformation and spirit is saying you don't need any distractions because with this death and rebirth, it's giving me like going to the next level and you're going to end up finding your um, person when you get to the next level. Okay. But a cycle is having to end first. Spirit, show me regarding love when Aquarius get to the next level. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Capricorn towards Virgo. You can have a Capricorn towards Virgo coming towards you. And we got the Six of Cups. What's coming in regarding love? Divine Holy Spirit. When they get to the next level for my Aquarius. Ace of Swords. Some of you guys, um, there's somebody from your past. And I don't feel like this is somebody you dated. But this is somebody you know. This could be somebody you work with or work. they work in the same branch as you. This could be somebody who's all about like um, foundation, family, stability, getting a life in order, being success successful, being wealthy. Um, you could end up coming across this person. Okay. I feel like this is somebody you haven't been in a relationship with. You could have went to school with this person or something. Okay. There's communication that's going to be coming in from them. Okay. This could be a Virgo. We also got Scorpio energy here. This person is going to come in and talk to you. Okay. This person could end up hearing your voice. This could be on a radio, a podcast. Um, they could see your content or this is somebody who see you out somewhere. Um, yeah. But I feel like there's some type of communication that's going to be coming in. Okay. Between you and this person. I'm here in near future for some of you guys to a cups. Yeah, you and somebody is going to be linking up or this is a new connection. You could be a nurse. You could be in the medical field. You could be a doctor or this person could be a nurse, a doctor or somebody who help people. Okay, that's going to be coming in. I feel like for some of you guys, there's a new relationship that's coming in. But I'm hearing like this person had to mature or you had to mature or this could have been somebody you met in your childhood years, but now that you guys are mature, I feel like you're going to be taking a connection here to the next level. So let me hurry up. Yeah, but be careful because we got the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords coming out here, Spirit? Okay, and we got the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is only going to be coming in for what you got or what you can give them or something about them wanting to manipulate you. Because you do have a lot of success that's coming in. This is somebody who's very conning. Okay. Is it this new person spirit? Is it the new person? It's Aquarius energy out here. We got the Knight of Cups. I feel like this is somebody from the past. Somebody from the past is going to try to prevent... You and this person that you're going to be meeting here in the new, near future from coming together or being together. Or like if you are in a relationship and you have somebody in a third party or they had you in a third party. I feel like you and this person are going to be working things out or trying to heal things with each other. But there's somebody on the outside or somebody you walked away from or they walked away from that's going to try to come in and interfere with this connection. Okay, I'm hearing this person is disappointed because you walked away from them or whoever you're dealing with walked away from this person. Okay, I'm hearing bitter and sad, depressed, down and out. Okay, they're going to try to cause some type of conflict. Baby, they put not. I'm hearing looking foolish. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Yeah, somebody is standing their ground here. When it comes to an interference with a connection or a relationship. And shit, the emperor. Shit, the emperor. Okay, this could be a Aries. We also got Leo energy out here. Um, but baby, yeah, there's an emperor that done passed judgment or has made a decision. They see something clearly. They done came to a clear, a clear, a clear, a clear I was going to say cocoon. 
<laughs> it's like this whoever this is they keeping they still like away from temptation or people trying to lure them back into an old energy but i'm hearing this person has come to a clear conclusion all right yeah okay somebody done passed judgment let's see what's going on with you aquarius when it comes to your career and finances and the crazy thing is side piece came in uh in a reverse for the love portion of this reading but side piece came in for career and finances for some of you guys whoever this side piece is could have been interfering with your career or finances or for some of you guys you could have been mixing business with pleasure or this is somebody that you was attached to was mixing business with pleasure and could have been causing like financial issues in your home or in your life um yeah your angels are going to be letting you know something here but some of you guys you got a side hustle a side job here that i feel like your angels could be telling you it's time to move away from okay i'm hearing it's a distraction or it's not healthy or you could be connecting to the wrong people okay when it comes to this side hustle or it could be bad people that run a business and you could work for them okay but i'm hearing clear messages coming in all right yeah there's going to be some type of change when it comes to your finances for some of you guys you're switching gears or you're changing something up you could be starting something new or there's going to be a new idea that's going to come towards you in november because we also got new love coming out here for finances okay there's some type of change that's coming in when it comes to your career or your finances your guardian angels are leading you to this okay because something about what you do it could be a lot of envy here or there's a lot of deceptive energy around you that you might not be aware of but i feel like it's going to be shown to you or you're starting to see this now yeah but i feel like you make good money but something is not right or something don't sit right in your energy about whatever this is I'm hearing you're ready to walk in your truth, your power, your authenticity. Like if you've been helping somebody else build their business up, it's time for you to stop doing that. And it's time for you to focus on yourself. You're putting too much energy into helping somebody else manifest their dreams. It's like you could be letting your goals and aspiration fall by the wayside. Okay. For some of you guys, you got people interested in you because of what you got or because of your position in life or because of the thing. I'm hearing this could be cars, clothes, home. Like, I feel like you really, really take care of yourself. But a lot of people are drawn to you, not for your true authentic self, but for what you have. Okay. There's a need for you guys to watch out for this. It could be a lot of competition in the workplace or I feel like spirit is trying to get you away from something here. Like I said, the finances could be good, but there's something better that spirit is wanting for you to go toward. And I feel like this is going to really make you happy. It's going to bring balance in your life, reciprocity. This is going to open up a whole new chapter for you. I feel like also you're going to be... um networking or something about people viewing you as a valuable connection okay yeah yeah something about some uh people going to be accepting your idea some of you guys you could get something patent or you see something that you want to move towards when it comes to your career okay this is going to manifest material harvest yeah like i said for some of you guys there's a person or people that comes around only because of your finances or you only hear from them because they need something 
Spirit, show me what I need to see career for Aquarius. What do they need to know for the month of November? What do they need to know? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What? I'm hearing reconstruction. Okay. Something about your finances is about to be reconstructed. Okay. And I really feel like family for a lot of you guys, you could be working with someone else or you're starting something and other people are going to be working with you to build something new in your life. This is giving me generational wealth, creating a wealthy bloodline as well. Um, new income, new money. I'm hearing new money, but this is going to be long money is what I'm hearing too. I'm also hearing rags to riches. You could have came from like a rags to riches background. Okay. But I feel like everybody is going to applaud you or there's going to be people that is one to go, is going to want to invest in you because of the things that you know and how you have changed mold and healed your life. Not only like your life, but your finances, your money. Okay. People want to know how you did something. Like how you leave this and get to this. Okay. Yeah, it's not for everybody to know. There's something here you're going to have to keep quiet about. Okay. There's something here you're going to have to uh, be quiet about or not share. I'm hearing pulling back from. Keeping to yourself. There could be a need for you guys to save this month, okay? Yeah, something about you guys being in your magician energy, as above, so below. Okay, I'm hearing this is destined for you, or this is destiny, okay, what's happening in your life right now. You got a lot of pinnacles out here. Um, I feel like you're going to be able to save, put back. If you got kids, I feel like you could be starting a trust fund for them when they get older. But something here is definitely changing. And for some of you guys, like, say for instance, you are a workaholic or you are, like, gone a lot. Um, you can have, like, children that's missing you or something about you guys thinking about your children. Um, it's like you're trying to find a better way to provide for them. I just heard, in what better way than to start your own shit? <laughs> okay, something about you guys getting fed up and tired of, like, working with people, okay? Or helping people that's not helping you or is keeping you from your happiness, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing discipline, okay? There's a lot of discipline and structure that's coming into your household, your career, your funds, your money, and your love life. Okay, Aquarius? Yeah, look, Queen of Wands, baby. Oh, yeah. Get ready, because there's a massive change that's taking place, Aquarius. I hope this reading resonated for most of you guys. If it did, you already know what to do. And until we talk again, love y'all so much. Peace.